All right, let's take a look at government regulation in a monopoly. Here is a market demand curve for, let's say, electricity, because that is often government regulated. Here is a marginal revenue curve for that same electric power producer. So we've got MR, we've got D. Now let's draw a mar an average total cost curve for that. Because electricity is a natural monopoly, and those are the commonly regulated monopolies, they have decreasing average total cost. So our average total cost is going to be here, and it is, of course, we'll make that red so we can see the difference in our cost curves. Our marginal cost is going to be constant because electricity has constant marginal cost, which is pulling average total cost down toward it. I'm going to shape this average total cost up for you a little bit. Remember, average total cost decreases so sharply because in an industry like electricity, you have a situation where um, you have very high fixed costs, uh, but then just, you know, once you run power lines, hooking a house up to it is pretty small and relatively standard. Also, generating power is pretty standard, or at the very least, in economic theory, it's pretty standard. So you have average total cost, and we have our cost curves there. Well, for a monopoly, we want to produce where MC equals MR, which would be right here. And that tells us our quantity that we are going to produce. However, to find the price at which we will produce, 